Video Copilot's free orb effect is amazing, it makes planets really easily. There's just a few settings that can be hard to remember, like how to create an atmosphere. Hey and welcome to Making Space. I can't take credit for this tutorial, it's all Andrew Kramer's original recipe. But the reason this video exists is that he only shares how to make an atmosphere at the end of his amazing but very long tutorial for Ultra Earth. I was always referring back to it when I realised I should just save it as a preset. And I figure that if it only just occurred to me now, then I'm probably not the only one. To get started, I've got this HD comp and I've already got a planet set up. Check out my earlier Making Planet tutorials if you're interested in recreating all of the planets of the solar system. To add an atmosphere, I need a new solid. We're adding this as a separate orb layer. So then go to Effect, Video Copilot, Orb. And in Material, set the Diffuse to 0. And set Specular to 0 too. That's 0 as well, not 0 0.2. Pick a colour for your atmosphere. A light blue would be Earth-like, but it can be any colour that looks cool. Then set Illumination to 0 0.8. Expand Illumination options and set the Fresnel to 1. Fresnel is a fancy word for the amount of reflectance. Up the Fresnel bias to 1 and set Shadow Light to 1. Then drop Shadow Light Contrast to 1.4 and nudge the Shadow Light Expansion to 0.1. Expand Advanced Options and set the Edge Feather to 0.2 and set the Edge Shrink to 0.02. Now, if you didn't start with the planet and sun already set up, your atmosphere might look like this. That's because the illumination settings respond to light. So create a new parallel light and make sure the point of interest is targeting the planet. And there you go! Last touches, after you hit the like and subscribe button, which is probably the most important step. I'll wait. You done? Oh, thank you, that was really unexpected. On your atmosphere orb layer, set its transfer mode to screen. And I also tend to increase the radius a couple of pixels so it's above the planet. Then, once you're happy, make sure the effect is selected and go to Animation, Save Animation Preset. And that way you've got a copy of an Atmosphere preset ready to go. Which can come in handy in different ways. I set this orb to a hemisphere and now I have a bubble shield. And look what happens if I add a new solid and add a cell pattern effect to it. And then in Orbs Map sections, set the Bump Map to use the Cell Pattern layer with effects and masks. We get all kinds of interesting looks. 